Rifleman Harold DeForest served with the 37th Infantry Division when they were tasked with eliminating a Japanese position on a hill above Clark Air Base during the Philippines campaign. Soldiers nicknamed the hill the top of the world. The Japanese, when they took off from Clark's Field, they took all the automatic weapons, all the cannons, all the mines, all the bombs, everything they could carry up into these hills. So they were looking right down our throats. So the A Company and B Company and I think C Company, and we had to take, take the top of the world. DeForest's division suffered horrendous casualties in the battle to take the top of the world. They cut loose with everything. But we managed to go up that hill, take that hill. When we come down out of there, 1st platoon had 10 men and one medic. 2nd platoon had 10 men, one medic. 3rd platoon had 10 men, one medic. 4th platoon, the weapons platoon, had 23 men. About 63 men out of a company, out of 150, 200 men. And that night, uh, we had to go back up and, and retrieve our dead because we couldn't bring them down with us when we pulled back. And that was one of the hardest things for the guys to do. And there's one little machine gunner he was so close to his gunner that he wanted to go right back up there, right then and there and get him. But they made him wait until nightfall and go up and get, get these guys. But it's just how close you are. It's just like, like a brother. You're going to go get your brother, bring him down. Harold DeForest fought on with the 129th Infantry Regiment all the way into the city of Manila where DeForest suffered shrapnel injuries and was evacuated.